God bless you all tonight, my brothers. Just uh, want to share something with you tonight. I had a read of 1 Samuel um, chapter 19 this morning, but I, I haven't had a chance to look at anything and anything stood out to me where I could share anything with you uh, this morning, um, from this morning when I looked at it. And I've had a bit of a busy day, but when I just come back there, I was just looking at the Word of God. And I was looking at this scripture in the book of 1 John chapter 5 and verse 12. It says, whoever has the Son has life. And whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. See, brothers, in the garden, you know, we saw the fall of man. In the very first beginning, we see the fall of man. We see separation between man and God. We see death. And we see that man is, 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 is dead. He's dead spiritually. He's dead until he accepts the Lord. And the Bible says, while we were dead in our sins, Christ made us alive. And you know, brothers, we're so blessed tonight, you know, to have the Lord in our lives because we have life. We have life, brothers. And you know, the book of Corinthians says, if we only have hope for the life that we live in now, then we should be pitied. Because life is not just about now. This life that God is speaking about is eternity with the Lord forever and ever and ever in a new heaven and a new earth. And you know, it blesses me tonight when I just look at this passage of scripture and it says, whoever has the Son has life. And tonight, for those who have Jesus Christ within their life, they have life. They was once dead. Ephesians chapter 2 tells us we were dead in our sins and transgressions, but Christ made us alive. And now we have life and life to the full, brothers. And I praise God for that tonight. I thank God that I have life. I thank God that, you know, I was once dead in my sin and transgressions, but Christ has made me alive. Whoever has the Son has life. Just remember that tonight, brothers. Just remember the life that you have. Not just here now, but the life that you will have in eternity with God. That you will not be cut off from God on the day of judgment day. When you stand before God, you, he will not say, depart from me. Cast into the lake of fire the second day. But he will say, come in my good and faithful servant. Come in and have life to the full. Living in a, a land where you'll never grow old. Living where there's no more pain, death, mourning, heartache, sickness. Where he's going to make all things new. And that promise is for those who have life. And we have life today, brothers. Life in Christ. Glory to God. I just wanted to share that with you tonight. You know, maybe someone's disencouraged. Feel a bit down tonight. Feel a bit flat. Then remember, brothers, what you have tonight. That not just this life that you put your hope in, but the life to come. Eternity with God forever and ever and ever. Glory to God. That even when we breathe our last on this earth, we don't die, but we sleep. And we wake up and we be with the Lord forever and ever and ever. Life that never ends. Eternity with God. Whoever has the Son has life. You have the Son tonight, brothers. You have Jesus Christ in your life then you are alive tonight. Glory to God. You are alive spiritually. You know God. You can have a relationship with God. You can pray to God. You can read God's word. You can talk to God. You can ask God to help you. And God hears you. You can walk and you can talk to the living uh, creator and maker of heaven and earth. You can talk and you can speak to God. And he hears you and he listens to you and he talks to you. What a beautiful thing, brothers, that we have life spiritually and we can talk to God we're not separated we're not dead in our sins like we was but we now have life and life to the full tonight I just wanted to encourage us tonight maybe that might encourage someone tonight but remember brothers those who don't have Christ they don't have life and we need to be an example and we need to share the good news with our family and be a light be a testimony Show them Christ, show them the life that Christ has given us. God bless you all.